I think we all know the importance of systematic reviews in informing healthcare decisions and practices, but mixed method systematic reviews really have that potential to create a breadth and depth or richness of understanding that a single method review can't provide. Essentially, they can provide a more complete picture of a topic or intervention which enhances their usefulness to guideline developers and decision makers, particularly in the case of complex interventions. They do this as dependent on the nature of the review question, they have the ability to examine the degree of agreement between the quantum coil data in order to validate or triangulate the findings. They can actually identify discrepancies within the available literature. They can determine whether the quant and qual data address different aspects of a phenomenon of interest. And one type of data can actually be used to explore, contextualise or explain the findings of the other type of data. These types of reviews can be quite challenging and I know Lucy and I often feel that our brains hurt after talking and working on these reviews because there's so much to consider and digest with some aspects clearly linking together and others not. It also doesn't help when there is limited detailed guidance available, but hopefully this presentation and the JBI guidance will help you avoid feeling overwhelmed and in not sure what direction to head.